Warmest greetings from the Asia Pacific region. On December 4th, the attention of the Pacific was focused on Typhoon Hagaput as it gained Super Typhoon status and headed directly towards the shores of the Philippines with winds approaching 180 miles per hour. Forecast to make landfall just 13 months to the day after last year's devastating Super Typhoon Yolanda, memory of the incredible devastation and lives lost was fresh on everyone's mind. As a region, we began asking for global prayer, and you responded. Not only did thousands of brothers and sisters in Christ from literally around the world begin reading and following the updates and requests for prayer, but they began praying. We serve a living God who answers the prayers offered on behalf of His people. We watched with amazement as just hours before landfall, Super Typhoon Hagaput slowed and began a rapid weakening, making landfall with just half of its original strength. Still a very powerful storm, many communities suffered as more than 71,000 homes were either significantly damaged or destroyed. But the loss of life was minimal. Updated government reports are listing the death toll at just 10, with another five still missing. This is compared to the nearly 7,000 lost during Super Typhoon Yolanda. We are praising God that local Nazarene churches and districts had just recently participated in disaster response training. Teams were organized, supplies prepared in advance, and as soon as winds subsided, Nazarenes were conducting assessments and impacting their communities. Thank you for your ongoing prayers for our churches, leaders, and Nazarene Disaster Response volunteers. For those who would like to partner financially, donations can be made online through Nazarene Compassionate Ministries by following the link. From our hearts here in Asia to yours around the world, thank you. Together through prayer and in partnership with our teams on the ground, we are truly impacting lives and communities with the love and hope of Christ. May God bless you and your family this Christmas season.